Magic Detective, starring the world's greatest magician, Blackstone. He tells you the inside story of The Hooded Rider. Right after the story, Blackstone will explain tricks that you yourself can perform. Reveal the guarded secrets of the world's greatest living magician. Stand by for Blackstone, the magic detective. Uh, stand a little farther away from that cabinet, Don. Me? Well, why? But that's the cabinet that I vanish from every show. You wouldn't want that to happen to you. Well, you materialize again, Rhoda. Yeah, but me, I'm smart, I am. And anyway, I know the secret. <laughs> well, Rhoda, why is it that you always vanish out of cabinets and things and Blackstone never does? Done. Oh, oh uh, hello, Blackstone. <laughs> Talking about me, Don. Well, I, I didn't hear you come in. He does that sometimes. First he isn't there, and then poof, there's Blackstone. He used to give me the creeps when I first worked for him. <laughs> well, Blackstone, I was just asking Rhoda why it was always she who did the disappearing acts and never you. Well, there was that time at the convention, Rhoda. Do you remember? Convention? Mm. Oh, of course I remember that. I was never so darn scared in all my life. You pretty near vanished for good that day, Blackstone. Well, hey, let me in on this. It sounds exciting. Oh, almost too exciting. Well, what happened? You see this cabinet over here, Don? Uh, that one over there? No, uh, this one. Oh, oh yes, I see it. That's funny. It, it has paper sides. They're not even painted to look like wood or anything. Well, that's part of the trick. Well, what do you mean? I'd get into the cabinet with its obviously paper walls and then let my assistant shoot at me. And then when the sides had been shot to ribbons, he'd get out of the cabinet unharmed. Good grief. You know, that's one of the most spectacular tricks I've ever heard of. Yeah, and rather dangerous, too. Well, what's the secret, Blackstone? Do your assistants use blanks in their guns? Well, that's what Big Ben Westminster thought. Big Ben? Who's he? Well, that's part of the story. Tell Don about it, Blackstone. Rhoda and I were playing a convention out in the southwest, and while we were there, I ran across the trail of a gambling ring. Blackstone was just on the verge of cracking the ring wide open, and the gamblers knew it. They'd been sending us threatening notes. And that night, waiting to go on for our act, Rhoda was nervous. Blackstone, I, I wish you wouldn't go on tonight. Those threatening notes mean business. Mm, so do I. But you'll be so defenseless out there on the stage. Anyone could take a shot at you if they wanted to. Don't you worry about me, Rhoda. I'll be all right. I'll keep my eye on the audience and make sure there's no trouble. But what about when you're in the paper cabinet for your hooded rider act? You can't watch the audience then. No. I'll be out of sight of the audience during that act. You mean the audience will be out of sight? They can see the cabinet with you in it, and you can't see them. If anything happens during the act, it'll happen then. Not if you cooperate, Rhoda. Of course. What do you want me to do? Just this. Now, listen carefully. Oh, golly, there's our cue. We've got to go on. I know. We've got to hurry. Now, this is what I want you to do. Now, Blackstone will disguise himself as the hooded rider, hide in that paper-sided cabinet, and allow himself to be shut up by his assistants. Blackstone, look at those guys up in that stage box. Isn't that Big Ben Westminster, the head of the gambling ring? Yes, that's Big Ben himself. They're here for a reason, Blackstone. That's right. They'd like a chance to kill me. Blackstone! Don't worry, Rhoda. Everything will be all right if you follow my instructions. Oh, I will. If they've tried to shoot at me, this will give me the one thing I need to hold Big Ben. Are you all set, Rhoda? All set. Oh, golly, I hope this works. <laughs> Hey, look, Ben, when are we going to take a shot at that guy? My trigger finger's etching. It's etching, it's etching. A oh, hold of this. We've been holding it too long. That guy's been doing too much snooping around, and I don't like it. Now, neither do I. Now's our chance to settle him once and for all. How? Well, Blackstone will go off stage and change into his hooded rider costume. 
How do you know? Oh, I've seen this act before. I don't leave nothing to chance. What are we going to do? No! Hey, listen. If any member of the audience would like to come up on the stage and take shots at the cabinet with my men, they are welcome. <laughs> Hear that, Hokum? Well, tonight we'll take them up on it, but not on stage. What? No one wants to come on stage? No one in the audience has brought along their favorite shooting irons? We've got ours. I'll say. Very well. My own assistants will have to serve as the firing squad. Now, if you will allow me a few moments to change into my hooded rider costume, I will be back to mystify and baffle you. Then Blackstone will come back and get into that cabinet, see? And his stooges will shoot at him. Only they'll shoot with blanks. Well... Well, Blackstone, inside the cabinet, will punch holes in the paper so it looks like the guys are using real bullets, see? Only this time, you won't have to punch no holes. There'll be some real bullets. You mean ours? That's right. Hey, that's swell. On account of the blanks that are being shot, nobody will be able to guess where the real bullets come from. That's the idea. Oh, but here he comes. Yeah. He's going into the cabinet. Now they're shutting the door on him. Now the stooges are lining up. Getting ready to shoot them phony. There they go. All right, now, Ace. Let her rip with the real ones. That does it, boy. Come on, let's scramble before the trouble starts. Hey, that guy's coming out of the cabinet. Look, he's alive. Well, he, he can't be. You pumped enough lead in him to kill ten men. But he is, I tell you, look. Well, let's get out of here. Come on. Just a minute, Westminster. Well, here I am right in the box with you. Drop that gun, Ace. I've got you covered. Hey, hey, you can't be here. You're down on that stage. You're, you're, you're dead. No, I'm very much alive. Let's all take a little trip down to the chief of police. Perhaps he can explain it to you. Gosh. Impressed, Don? Well, I certainly am. But I can't understand how you did it. Oh, it's very simple, really. Well, that's what you always say. Come on, Blackstone, give. Well, Rhoda and I left the stage together when I was supposed to change into the hooded rider costume. Mm -hmm. And then you came back alone. That's where you're wrong. Just as Big Ben was wrong. Well, how do you mean? I didn't come back onto the stage at all. Rhoda did. She put on my costume, which disguised her, and went through my axe for me. It was she who stepped into the cabinet, leaving me free to go up into the box and confront the crooks. Simple, isn't it? Well, that part is. Now you've explained it. But I still don't see how you could let the crook shoot real bullets into that cabinet. All the bullets were real. Those of my assistants as well as those of the crooks. You mean those bullets are all real? Every one of them, Dom. Let's show him the trick, shall we? Right. Uh, step inside the cabinet, Rhoda, but leave the paper door open. Okay. Now, see, Don, I press this button and... Why, it's a steel flap, like a... Well, like an inner door swinging out from the side of the cabinet and blocking off the front. That's right. That's why I can invite anyone who has a gun to come up and shoot with my men. The cabinet is bulletproof. And Rhoda knew the trick. Yes. You can come out now, Rhoda. So, another mystery was solved by magic. Well, what do you think of that trick, Don? Why, it's marvelous. And I'm Blackstone. Uh, do you know another trick that I can perform myself? <laughs> no, that one isn't exactly practical for home consumption. <laughs> Hardly. But uh, here's one that is. Well, what kind of a trick are you going to show me this time, Blackstone? A handkerchief trick. You need a special handkerchief? No, Rhoda. Anyone will do. We'll use yours. Hold it by one corner, Rhoda. Is that right? Yes. Now lift the lower corner up so you are holding both corners like a loop. Hmm. Is that it? Exactly. Now... Shake the lower corner downward. Well, there you go. Only what's supposed to happen. I'll show you with this handkerchief of mine. Hold one corner, lift the other, and shake. Well, nothing happened. Uh, not on the first shake. That's only one. Uh, he goes. Two. And three. Well, look, Don. Well, Blackstone, there's a knot right in the corner of the handkerchief. How in the world you do that? Three shakes and there you are. Try it with your own handkerchief. Uh, one, two, three. But no knot. I'll try it. One, two, three, and shake. Still no knot. Oh, what's wrong with this, Blackstone? Well, you have to know the secret, Don. 
Let Rhoda keep on tying it, and then I'll be back to tell you how it's done. One, two, three, and shake. No, not. One, two. Still no knot. Well, that convinces me, Blackstone. Convinces you of what, Rhoda? That there's some deep, dark secret about this trick. Something you haven't told us. Well, that's true of every good trick. Well, this is a good one, so let us in on it. Very well, I will. I didn't really shake the knot into the corner. Well, if you didn't, how did it get there? I tied it beforehand. But we didn't see it. No, because the corner in which I tied the knot was the one I held in my hand. Like this. Oh, I see. Your hand hides the knot. Right. But how does the knot get to the lower corner? Very easily, Rhoda. I raise the lower corner to the hand that holds the upper. Yeah. And I shake the lower corner once. That's right. Then I raise it again and shake it. That makes twice. Yeah. I raise the corner a third time. Yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead. Only now I keep that corner. I hang right onto it. What I shake is the upper corner. Three. And there's the knot. You switched the corners on it. I'll say you did, only we couldn't see it happen. Of course you couldn't, because my hand was hiding both corners at the time. It's so simple that no one will suspect it. So that's how it's done. That's how it's done, Rhoda. I hope you like that trick, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, this is Blackstone saying good magic and goodbye. with us next time when the world's greatest living magician, Blackstone, tells us the story of the Phantom Intermezzo and explains more tricks that you yourself can perform. Listen in again to Blackstone, the world's greatest living magician. Blackstone.